Welcome to an exciting journey into the world of financial markets. In this video, we'll explore what financial markets are, why they matter, and how they operate, perfectly suited for class 10 students. Section one, what is a financial market? So what exactly is a financial market? Simply put, it's a platform where people buy and sell financial instruments like shares, bonds, or derivatives. These markets are essential because they allow businesses to raise funds and investors to grow their savings. Section 2. Key Functions of Financial Markets Financial markets play several important roles. 1. They help mobilize savings by encouraging individuals to invest. 2. They provide liquidity making it easy to convert financial instruments into cash. Three, they discover prices, allowing fair valuation of assets based on supply and demand. Four, and most importantly, they help in risk management, offering tools to hedge against uncertainties. Section three, types of financial markets. There are two major types of financial markets. One, the primary market where new securities are issued. For example, an IPO, initial public offering, occurs here when companies raise money from the public. Two, the secondary market, where already issued securities are traded. This is where stock exchanges like the NSE and BSE come into play. Investors buy and sell shares from each other in this market. Section 4 Investment Basics one of the key lessons in financial markets is understanding the difference between saving and investing. While saving is about storing money safely, investing is about making your money work for you by generating returns. A crucial reason to invest wisely is inflation, the gradual increase in prices over time. Smart investments help you beat inflation and grow your wealth. Section 5, Key Players in Financial Markets Financial markets bring together several important players. 1. Issuers, companies or governments that issue stocks or bonds to raise money. 2. Investors, individuals or institutions who buy these securities. 3. Intermediaries, these include brokers, mutual funds, and banks that facilitate buying and selling. 4. Regulators, in India, the market is regulated by CB, Securities and Exchange Board of India, which ensures that markets operate fairly and transparently. Section 6, Common Investment Instruments. There are various instruments you can invest in. Equity. Stocks represent ownership in a company and can offer high returns but with higher risk. Debt. Bonds and debentures, where you lend money to an organization, offering safer but lower returns. Mutual funds, a pool of money managed by experts that invests in a combination of stocks and bonds. Derivatives, these are more complex financial products whose value is derived from an underlying asset like stocks or commodities. Conclusion, why start investing early? The key takeaway is, start investing early. By doing so, you allow your investments to grow over time, thanks to the power of compounding. Remember the golden rules. Invest early, invest regularly, and invest for the long term.